Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive, and we're talking cars. How are you doing this morning, Bernie? Doing very well. So, Toyota Sienna Vans, uh, pretty long running, Mark. Uh, how reliable are Toyota Sienna Vans? Uh, very. Uh, I, I like these vans a lot. I think they're super reliable. But the other thing that's, uh, you know, good about them, they're, you know, their crash test ratings are also really good, which is a, which is a good thing to have in any vehicle, but especially if you're hauling your family around, which is why a lot of people buy them. So that's another bonus when you're buying a vehicle, you know, it's not just a, a nice vehicle and it's reliable, but it's also safe. So the Sienna maybe seems a little conventional compared to its predecessors. It does. Uh, Toyota had some very quirky vans before the, the Sienna. The Previa was a very odd looking vehicle. Um, and uh, the LE van, which was the predecessor to that one, was uh, probably looked a little more conventional, but again, was odd. Both of those vehicles had were mid-engine. The engine was actually kind of in between the passenger and driver's seat underneath. Pretty, pretty uh, neat use of space, but they were, they were only limited to a four-cylinder, so they really lacked power. Um, but, you know, some of the Previas, like the LE models, I mean, they were really nice. They were really well-equipped, and they were one of the neat distinctions about that vehicle that had like a, uh, a little cooling compartment. It was like a a beer fridge in a car, of course, not for beer, but for pop. But, you know, there's a little a little fridge in the in the car that worked off the air conditioning system. So it was kind of cool. But I mean, they, they were neat designs, but really kind of oddball vehicles, but very reliable. I mean, we still work on Previas and they're, uh, you know, they're still keep on going. They're, they're very good. So what are the some of the issues you see with Sienna's? Well, really, there's not a lot of, of um, uh, continuous issues with these vehicles. I mean, I find some of the older ones, the valve cover gaskets will leak, and so they need to be repaired. Um, you know, the only real concern over the years with these engines, if you don't maintain them properly, is, is sludging in the oil sludging in the engine, which is not uncommon on Toyota. So you've got to do your oil changes regularly, uh, which we talk about all the time. But you know that'll prevent that. But that is an issue if you if you start neglecting the engine, oil sludging will happen. It'll it'll destroy the engine. Okay, so do Sienna engines use timing belts, and how often is it changed? If so, do they? Uh, how often do you have to change them? So yes, they do use timing belts. Um, from 1998 up to 2006, uh, there's a timing belt in the three liter and 3.3 engines, and the recommended interval is 144,000 kilometers or or uh, 90,000 miles. So that's a you know important service to do. Uh, you don't want it to break, but um, that yeah that's that they do have timing belts up to the 2006 model year. Um, and what engine options are available for Siennas? So so Siennas they're basically all V6s except interestingly enough for two model years, 2011 and 12 they used a 2.7 liter four cylinder. Uh, that's also by the way a timing chain engine so. Uh, <clears throat> There's no belt to replace in that that engine. Uh, as far as engine, like so, everything else is V6. The early years, the three liter. Then they went up to a 3.3, and then finally, this newest generation uses a 3.5 liter engine, which which is timing chain driven, has variable valve time, and all of Toyota's nice uh, modern uh, technology. And are these vehicles available with manual transmissions? Why would you want manual? <laughs> yeah, no, they're uh, strictly automatic uh, in all the mo all the years. So yeah, you're you're stuck with an automatic, but easy easy to drive. Um, got got a couple of pictures to share. Actually, we just want to uh, let's have a look at a couple of photos. Um, this is a dash. This is a dashboard of a 2012. Uh, Sienna LE, so it's a right top of the line edition. Beautiful vehicle, but you can see it's got you know like a navigation, or sorry, backup camera. It's got a navigation system, nice radio, climate control, AC, and it's got stow and go fold away seats in the back. You know, nice, nice fitted interior with um, fake fake wood steering wheel. I don't know, it doesn't sound very complimentary, but it looks nice. So really, you know, the interior is absolutely awesome. Uh, when we get to the engine compartment, not so interesting to look at. I mean. This is just a good, reliable engine, but it's got, you know, your big plastic cover over top of the engine. That's the engine underneath there. Um, this one, you know, it's a little dirty. It's had a few years of life on it, but it's, uh, you know, really not the most exciting engine to look at. It's just reliable and it works well. So that's all you can, the best thing you can expect out of a Toyota. Toyota. Yeah. Any other issues with these vehicles? 
You know, I'd say personally, from our mechanics point of view, no. Um, but I, I do I say I do read a lot of things in you know, vehicles just to keep up to date. There's some complaints of paint peeling and fading on some of the models and uh, some dashboard cracking issues. But other than that, that's really all I see. There's they're really just overall a really good van. So overall, this seems like uh, in your experience so far, this is probably a good, even maybe even the best minivan. I would say so. You know, I, I mean, you can't go wrong with buying one. There's really not much that goes that goes wrong with it. I mean, if you buy an older one, of course, you're faced with a little more maintenance, like, you know, timing belt and just an aged vehicle will have more problems and more things to go wrong. Maybe some valve cover gasket leaks and other issues. But I mean, really, overall, they're just a fantastic van. I'd say really the only downside is probably the price you have to pay for one because people know they're good. Uh, they command a pretty high dollar. But the good news is if you buy one, they don't depreciate as fast too. So that's a, if you buy something like a caravan, it's cheap, but the price will just go. So yeah, a great van. I, I, I can't say enough about them. So there you go. If you have a Toyota Sienna in Vancouver and you're looking to get a service, the guys to see are Pollock Automotive in Vancouver. You can reach them at 604-327-7112 to book your appointment or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.